Why, hello there. My name is Freckress, and welcome back to Let's Play the Dream Machine. I'm gonna go check out my room, which I believe is just right here. This is cabin one. So the cabin one key with the cabin one. Door is now unlocked. Now I can go inside. Alright, so my room actually has a bunk bed in it, not unlike the, um, the busboy's room. Water, water. Got a lamp. Lamp is screwed to the desktop. Guess it comes in handy during rough weather. Yes. Examine radio, standard issue radio, probably used for listening to music. Contains standard issue clothes and uniforms, nothing out of the ordinary. Well. Examine bottom bunk. According to the captain's aid, this bunk is mine. It looks quite comfortable. Top bunk looks well made. Bunk belongs to the bartender. Alright. Same with the chair. It's a wooden desk chair. Good to know. Alright. Not sure what that means. Maybe if I check back with him, he's got more to say. I have to ask you to put your badge on, cadet. Walking around is a grade D violation. You better sort that out or I'll have to report you. Alright, fine. <laughs> Where it is a number six or is a number nine. Okay, that's an interesting thing that I can do. Um, I guess I'll keep it as a six right now. Alright. Still haven't heard anything about your assignment. Have you helped all your fellow crew members? Not yet, I'll have some questions about what I'm supposed to do. No, that's okay. I got it. Come see me again when you're settled in. Alright, I need to go back and talk to people. See if they need any help. And if I help everyone out and they still don't have anything, then I'll end up uh, changing my number and uh, and figure out what to do then. Captain's aide told me to help you out. Is there anything I can do? Sure thing! I don't know if you've noticed yet, but there's a bit of a rat infestation aboard. No, I never noticed. Uh, just saw one scuttle into the hole by the door over there. If you want, you could help me eradicate them. Sure, what do I need to do? As far as I can tell, they build their nests in the walls. You need to locate all the nests and bait them with poison. How many nests are there? I've seen three so far. Sounds good? Frankly, no. Why don't you do it? <laughs> sure, whatever. Get it done. There's Here's the rat poison. Okay. There's only a little bit left, but I think it'll be enough to bait the nests. Don't handle that stuff lightly, mind you. Poison's potent enough to kill a full-grown man. You get to keep the box as your reward. Gee. What was it you needed me to do? Where can I find the nests? Yeah, tell me more about the nests. There's one by the door there. Other ones might be harder to find. But just walk the decks and you should be able to locate them. Okay. See you later, then. Alright, rat poison with rat hole. Put some poison in the hole. Cool. Let's go find more holes, I suppose. Can't see the deck. <laughs> like anything like that. Nothing there. Sun deck. Uh. Hmm. I don't see any other holes. I mean, maybe there's one in my room. I'll go look. Power outlet. There's a hole. Alright. Boop. Okay. Maybe in the bus boys. No. Don't know why it looked like that. That was interesting. <laughs> Maybe in here. Cabin three. Enter cabin three. Uh, don't see a rat hole. Power outlet. Okay. Hmm. Not exactly what I expected. Maybe there's one on the top deck. I mean, unless I wanted to kill a man. 
<laughs> There's one. Okay. Rat hole. That was the last of them. Which is just as well since I'm all out of poison. Okay. Back to seven. Have you baited all the nests for me? Yeah, I just found the last one. Did the poison last for all of them? I barely I ran out after baiting the last one. That's good enough for me. You have anything else for me to do? Not right now, but check with the other crew members. They might have tasks for you. Okay, bye. See you later then. See if the busboy wants me to take his crappy dishes somewhere. Are you getting used to life on board? Still feels very unfamiliar. Don't worry about it. Once you have an assignment, you get used to it. About that. Captain's aide told me to make myself useful and help you guys out. Is there anything you need? If you want, you can just clean that desk over there. I do it myself, but I'm on my break. Sure, fine. Whatever. Thanks. I'll need to be- it needs to be sent to the kitchen. How do I get to the kitchen? You don't. Just use the dumb waiter by the bar. Okay, I got it. See you later then. Picking up dishes, taking them to the bar. I hate having to double click on the door, that's silly. I should be able... <laughs> I can't double click to, to quick, pa quick pass over there. Alright, dumb waiter. Better open it first. Uh, do I need to like click and drag it? How do I open it? What the hell? Oh, there's buttons. Is there anything I can do? Not really. You can just start mixing- You can't just start mixing drinks, you know. Tending bar requires skill and years of training. It's a huge responsibility requiring secret arcane knowledge passed down from bartender to bartender. Okay. How do I learn this arcane knowledge? This book is a good place to start. Thanks. That's mine now. The Ultimate Drink Book. Comprehensive guide to cocktails from around the world. That's it? A drink book? Knowing the recipes is only half the job. You could train a monkey to follow a recipe, but that wouldn't make him a bartender. Tricky part is doing it with some finesse. Prove to me that you're not a monkey and I'll tell the captain's aide that you helped me. How do I do that? Makes me a martini. You'll find everything you need around the bar. You mess it up. If you mess it up, you can just rinse the shaker in the sink and start again. Okay, that's fine. Call dumbwaiter. Thunk. Hooray. Do I want this bowl? This bowl might be useful. Okay. Collection of dirty dishes. Oops, come on. Put them there. And... Send the dumb waiter away. Send them to the kitchen. Hooray. Okay. Examine the drink book. Ultimate drink book. Comprehensive guide from cocktails around the world. Don't want Americano. Don't want a Bloody Mary. Don't want a Daiquiri. Or a Presidente. Or a Gin Sling. Or a Margarita. I want a Martini. Three parts gin, six parts vermouth, one part lemon juice. Stir ingredients in a bar shaker, strain into a chilled cocktail glass, and twist some lemon peel over the top. Okay, three, six, one. Uh, three gin, six vermouth, one lemon. Okay. Three gin. Poured some gin into the shaker. I already put gin in the shaker. Okay. Put the vermouth in the shaker. Poured a dash of vermouth into the shaker. I don't want a dash. I already put some vermouth in the shaker. Put the lemon in the shaker. Squeeze some lemon juice into the shaker. Lo and behold, I've created a martini. It's not exactly what he said, but alright. Give the martini to the bartender. There we go. Let's taste, shall we? It's a surprisingly decent martini. Just what I needed. Sweet liquor makes the days go by quicker. Tell the captain's aide that you helped me out. Thanks. Or I'll tell him. I'm not sure if I read that wrong. Sorry. 
Okay. Ding dong. Victor 6, report to the captain's aid. I repeat, Victor 6, report to the captain's aid. Doing that. I was doing that anyway. Good, I was right there, so I didn't keep you waiting. There you are. Has my assignment arrived yet? Yeah, I just received your briefing, and it's a doozy. There might even be a big promotion in it if you do this right. As you might have heard, one of our crew members went AWOL yet recently. Yeah, the crew told me about that. It's, a, it's unfortunate, but sometimes these things happen. According to initial reports, he was last... I'm sorry, he was seen drinking late last night. But the captain suspects somebody might be withholding information. Why does she suspect that? Because the initial reports contradict each other. Some say they saw him drinking, some say he never touched a drop. Doesn't add up. Okay, has this happened before? It's pretty rare, but yeah, these things happen now and then. You sound pretty unconcerned. The way I see it, he's probably passed out drunk somewhere below deck. It's usually the case with people when people miss a shift. I think he'll turn up sooner or later making excuses. Who is the crew member missing? He's call sign 11. He worked as a sun deck steward. He always seemed very relate reliable to me, but I haven't had much contact with him. Protocol states that we have to inform his next of kin 24 hours after his disappearance. That hour is approaching quickly. And the captain wants to be able to tell them something more substantial than, Sorry, we seem to have misplaced your son. What does the captain want me to do? She wants you to investigate this disappearance. Talk to his fellow crew members and find out what they know. Where was he seen last? Did he talk to anyone about leaving? Is he hiding from something? That sort of thing. What does a sun, sun deck steward do exactly? He basically takes care of passengers who are sunbathing. It can be anything from applying sunscreen, to managing deck chair reservations, to bringing them a towel, <laughs> or picking up dirty towels as- or used towels as they need to be. Why is the captain giving me the assignment? Since you arrived today, you were the most impartial crew member aboard. You don't know any of the crew, and you have no reason to lie. This puts you in a unique position to actually find out what happened. Sure. Could foul play be behind this disappearance? I guess all options have to be considered until we've found evidence to rule them out. Where do I begin? Talk to the other crew members. Examine the sun deck where he used to work. Check out his quarters. Maybe he left something behind. Who knew him best? Can't say I'm one of the I'm the one to ask about this. He shared cabins with Victor Seven, the head servant. He ought to know him pretty well. Won't let the captain down, sir. I got this. With this assignment, you've been promoted to the rank of assistant fourth class. Nice. Perform your duty admirably, and there might be another promotion down the line. Come back to me if you find anything or need any help. My, I might be able to nudge you in the right direction. Okie doke. Well, let's go back down to the deck and I guess talk to Seven first. What do you know, Seven? Think you're not telling me everything. I'm investigating the disappearance of Victor Eleven. I'd like to ask you a few questions about it, if you don't mind. Shoot. How well did you know Eleven? I knew him quite well, I guess. We've shared cabins for the last couple of months. Which cabin would that be? Cabin 2, of course. <laughs> right next to yours. I'd like to check out where he lived. You wouldn't happen to have the key, would you? Strange as it might sound, I seem to have forgotten where I put it. Maybe you can do something for me and to jog my memory. Like what? There's this guy down in the kitchen, Victor84. He's just a prep chef, but for some reason he thinks he's got the right to boss my waiters around. If you can find some way to teach that guy a lesson, I might be able to remember where I put the key. What the f- <laughs> I might remember where I put it. I- I'm lying entirely, but you know, whatever. Alright, what type of lesson? Something that says don't mess with the wait staff. How do I do that? Frankly, I don't want to know. Alright, I'll do it. Great. Come back once it's done and I'll give you the key. When was the last time you saw him? Last night around 9 or 10. Where was that? In our cabin, as I was coming back from a shift, he was freshening up. Said he had a meeting with somebody on the sun deck. Who? I don't know, but he seemed pretty antsy. Got himself perfumed to the gills, so naturally I thought he was seeing some skirt for the passengers section. You didn't ask? We're not allowed to consort with passengers, but if one of us does, I tend to look the other way. 
What happened next? I tried to cover the, his morning shift thinking he was off on cloud nine, but when he didn't show up for lunch, I started to suspect something was wrong. What'd you do then? By then, his absence had been noted by others. I didn't tell anybody about the meeting because I thought it would look bad on his permanent record. I see. You have a reason to believe he wanted to leave the ship. He never mentioned that to me, and we were pretty close. Did he seem unhappy about something? I wouldn't say that. He seemed preoccupied lately, but definitely not unhappy. Preoccupied with what? I don't know, he never told me. Did he have any enemies aboard? Why do you ask? Do you think somebody wanted to get rid of him? I'm just trying to be thorough. How can you make enemies on a sun deck? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he got smooth with somebody's wife. I suppose that's possible, but he always seemed so professional. Okay, well, oops. I hit the wrong one. Alright, so that's all. See you later, then. Alright, let's talk to Sleepy here. Sleepy's all alone. Bus boy. Investigating the, the disappearance of Victor Eleven. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? I was afraid this might happen. Why do you say that? When I heard he'd gone missing this morning, I got a bad feeling. Like I knew something was wrong. Hearing that the captain's ordered an investigation confirms that. He hasn't just missed a shift anymore. He's gone. That's still to be decided. What do you know about his disappearance? What do you want to know? Tell me about Eleven. How well did you know him? Hardly at all. I bumped into him every once in a while when bussing tables on the sun deck, but that's pretty much it. Did he have any other problems I should know about? His life was sunshine and butterflies until he went missing. If you know anything, you're more than welcome to contribute. I'm sorry, but the last guy I told went missing, so I'm a bit reluctant confiding in others. Let me guess, you want me to do something for you first? Nothing like that. You don't gain somebody's trust submitting yourself as their errand boy. Then how? Prove to me that you don't think I'm crazy. Prove to me that there's a conspiracy going on aboard and I'll reconsider trusting you. Did Eleven want to leave the ship? Not before he knew what was going on on board. What would that be? That's what we've been trying to figure out. Oh. Did he have any enemies on board? Given the circumstances, don't you think that's likely? He still might come back. Your optimism is touching. Alright. Tell me more about the circumstances of his disappearance. When was the last time you saw him? He came to me during break and asked if I would be in my cabin later that evening. He said he'd found something he wanted to show me. What do you want to show? I don't know, he never turned up. Oh. What'd you do on the night of his disappearance? I went to bed listening to the radio. Did you see or hear anything out of the ordinary? As I was drifting off into sleep, I thought I heard raised voices outside the cabin. I peeked through the porthole to see what the fuss was about. And? It was just Eleven and the head servant, Seven. Okay. They were engaged in another one of their arguments. Hmm. What about? I didn't listen, frankly. They didn't like each other, but had to make the best of a bad situation. Wow. How'd you find out he was missing? I thought it was strange that he didn't show up last night. I thought I might have fallen asleep and missed him knocking. But when they paged him over the PA system this morning, I got the sinking feeling in my stomach like I knew something was wrong. Did you report it? It was just a feeling and his absence had already been noted. Okay, tell me about the other crew members, particularly the bartender. Everybody knows he's a rubbish bartender. I don't know how he does it, but somehow he's managed to avoid demotions for quite some time. Why do you think that is? He's crafty. Back when he worked below deck, I heard he was suspected for framing a young cadet in order to take credit for his work. Nothing could be proved, so the case was dropped. Two months later, he was promoted to head of cabin services, but lately his luck seems to be running out. How come? He's failed to deliver a drink order to the cabin on more than one occasion. It's hard to blame that on somebody else. I guess he's run out of cadets to manipulate. Okay, tell me about Seven. Between you and me, I consider him too stupid to be a threat. What was his relationship to, to Eleven? They didn't get along and were constantly butting heads. What did they argue about? 
Mainly small day-to-day -day things. Somebody used the other's aftershave or stepped in the other's bunk with shoes on. That type of stuff. Uh, tell me about Victor 3. That guy wants a command position so badly he's waiting right outside the door. What's his relationship to Eleven? They didn't socialize. Captain Zade is only interested in being friends with people above his station. Uh, the captain? With things that go on aboard, I'm sure she's the only reason I'm still on this ship. She holds her guiding hand over me. What things would that be? There's something wrong with this place. Can't you feel it? Like what? I've said too much already. Okay. I guess that's all right now. See you later then. Okay, so I'm gonna have to figure out, I guess, how to gain his trust and how to get the key from seven in the next episode so thank you very much for joining me check out annotations for other videos that i've done share subscribe and socialize and all that other fun stuff in the youtubes down there hopefully i'll see you in my next video and my freckly face is out of here bye